What's going on guys? I literally just uploaded the third musky hunt video about eight minutes ago and I checked my email to find out that the restaurant that I work at is closed today due to a protest. So what that means for us is that we're going to spend the afternoon on Burke Lake. We're going to go try to catch a musky. So I've spent roughly 20 hours out on the water trying to catch one. Today we'll add another four at least and that's why they call this a musky hunt. I was watching a video with a musky guy this week. He said, you don't fish for musky, you hunt for them. And that's because they're so elusive, they're so aggressive, and they're just insanely hard to catch fish. And that's kind of why I'm really getting into this. I just love the challenge of it. And the thrill of getting that first bite is just gonna be wild. And I cannot wait to have one hooked up and fighting it. So. We're gonna keep trying to catch one, keep trying to learn as much as possible, and I'm gonna share that with you guys. So, without further ado, let's get in the boat, let's get in the truck, let's hit the road, let's go to Burke Lake. Whew. All right, fish fam, we made it to Burke, got the boat out. We're gonna go try to catch a muskie. It's pretty cold out here, it's like 38 degrees. Ooh, that's not good. So, a couple things I wanna to talk to you guys about today, and another reason that I came out to do a quick video, um, I don't like making vlogs unless I'm fishing or doing something. I don't really like sitting around the house and talking. So we're going to get out for a few hours and try to catch a muskie. But first I just wanted to talk to you guys about the two week trip that I planned in March. Uh, due to unfortunate circumstances, I'm not going to be able to take that trip. But in lieu of that trip, I have something planned that I think you guys are really going to like. So I got invited by the Shane's Bates guys to go down to the Bassmaster Classic. And that's been a dream of mine to go to that ever since I was a kid. I mean, just to go and experience the vibe and kind of meet some pros and see the expo and the weigh-in and everything about it. Maybe even do some fishing down there in Texas. I'm just super excited to do that. And I'm really sad I won't be able to do that two-week trip and I'll definitely do it in the future. I apologize to you guys that we're looking forward to that, but we'll make up for it. We'll make up for it. So we're gonna be doing Basically a week away from home, gonna go down to North Carolina for a few days, fish with Mikey Bowlby, who was the gentleman that showed us all the Shane's baits at the Richmond Fishing Expo, and then hit some of the lakes in North Carolina, and then head down to Texas for the Bassmaster Classic for a few days, and then I'm gonna fly back Saturday, and then get ready for the tournament, our first tournament of the year on Sunday. And then just a few days after that, we're jumping straight into the 30 day fishing challenge. So a bunch for you guys to look forward to and I hope you can forgive me for not taking that two week trip. Man, it's windy out here. Hopefully we can get a fish to bite. I don't like making videos with, uh, you know, getting skunked, but that's part of the challenge here. That's part of the hunt. And I wanna bring you guys along on all of it so you can experience it with me. So I'm gonna throw the chesty on. We're gonna start throwing that big double eight rig and some swim baits. Hopefully we can get bit today. Let's do it. All right, we're starting the day off with the big double eight that Martin sent me. Gonna whip this bad boy around for a while. Gonna fish this windy point and windblown bank. Try to catch a muskie. Yeah, something else uh, I'd like for you guys to do is comment below and let me know what you'd like to see from the classic. I plan on Definitely vlogging the expo and the weigh-ins. Hopefully I'll be able to meet a couple pros or something. I think that'd be pretty fun. But if there's anything specific that you guys would like to see, please comment below and let me know. Water temperature is 40 degrees. Currently I'm fishing 21 feet of water off this windy bank. Gonna work my way up to this main lake point. Really, really focus on the backside of this windy point. Fish like to stage up there and wait for bait to come blown over. See a bird up there too, that's a good sign. Maybe we can get bit. It'd be funny to catch a bass on this lure too, but I'm sure it's possible. Just finished up fishing that point. Graphed it when I was leaving and didn't see a single thing on it. So we're gonna jump across, fish this windy bank, the hump, and then work our way down to the point. Who needs to troll when you can cast half a mile? One more cast for the double eight and I'm gonna switch over to the swim bait for a little bit. Big school of bait right there. Look at that, crazy. 
definitely, definitely tough fishing in this kind of wind in this boat. But we're going to try to make it happen. We're going to use the wind to our advantage. We know that the wind being pushed against the bank like this, that it'll push bait fish, which in turn will bring the predators right up behind it. So gonna be fishing windy banks and points today. Not that I really have a choice, but we're gonna use it to our advantage. I'd be cool if a big bass hits this swim bait too. I wouldn't be disappointed. With this wind, I have a feeling I should be throwing this blade bait or the double. Eight rig. So that's what we're gonna do, my friends. Oh, God, I forgot how shallow it gets right here. Oh, no! My favorite musky bait. Dang it. So when I'm throwing this swim bait, I'm just casting it out as far as I can letting it sink to the bottom and slowly retrieving it. I mean, I just want this thing barely, barely off the bottom. And I'm also experimenting with different retrieves. Sometimes I'll let it sink to like 10 feet over 20, just retrieve it back in that 10 foot range. Just really trying different things and experimenting as much as possible. But for right now, I'm just kind of slow rolling this thing on the bottom. Gonna move up fish the rocks along the dam. Maybe these fish are pushed up against it due to this 25 to 30 mile an hour winds blowing down it all day. I've been fishing open water right now. Just, I know there's a bunch of bait out in front of me. A quick update for you guys. Been out here for about two hours. The wind is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's white capping out here. Luckily, I'm just hiding behind a little point right now. I had to switch the batteries over because my trolling motor battery died in two hours. Literally on the trolling motor the entire time. I'm gonna stick in this area, kind of close to the ramp. I don't think that this other battery is gonna last very long. I'm gonna continue to throw the big swim bait and the double eight rig. No bites yet. It's been another tough day, but that's what comes with this kind of fishing. And that's kind of what makes it fun. It's definitely a challenge and it'll happen eventually. That's the thing that I know. It's like, it'll happen. You just keep throwing these big baits and keep spending time out here. The stars will align one day. Let's get back up here. Let's go. This wind is no joke. But I really don't want to give up. I want to spend as much time out here as possible. I moved out a little bit off the point and basically this bank comes out it's a big flat six feet six feet then it's eight and then it drops down into 20 and I'm fishing that 20 foot break line I'm gonna try a couple different things I'm gonna let the swim bait sink all the way to the bottom and slow roll it back I'm gonna experiment again with different depths maybe like 10 feet and then a little bit shallower maybe like five and I'm gonna throw the double eight rig out there as well. Every once in a while, I'll give this swim bait just a couple hops, try to trigger a strike. Ice on the guides. Burr. Made a slight modification to the A-Rig. I put a 5.8 Kytec and a 3 8 ounce Dirty Jigs jig head on there. Might be a little bit more musky friendly. A lot of people say don't throw the A-Rig, but I watched a video of these dudes jigging with an Alabama rig and they are whacking huge musky. Also, if I put this thing in front of one's face, I don't see why it wouldn't bite it. Oh, man. Day's coming to an end. Probably have another 30 minutes to fish. I'm frozen solid. Throwing the A-Rig around. 
Probably gonna throw the swim bait a little bit more as well. And we're gonna call it a day. I really don't like making videos without any fish in them, but again, bringing you guys along for this adventure till the day we catch a muskie. All right guys, we are calling it a day for muskie hunt number four. Very unsuccessful. I was fighting the wind all day. I was on the trolling motor the entire time, which was fun, you know, it wasn't that bad, but um, you know, sometimes you just gotta get out there and tough the elements. But I'm still learning a lot about muskie fishing. I'm really enjoying it too. Uh, thanks to all you guys for commenting. I mean, I've learned so much from you just in general. Really, really appreciate that. So I don't really like posting videos where I'm not catching any fish, but I think I'm gonna have to keep doing these for the muskie hunt just because the suspense is building up and I know it's gonna happen eventually. Um, but if there's any suggestions you guys have for me, what I can do differently on these days, like when I come out for a few hours and don't catch anything, please just let me know, write a comment below, send me a message, whatever it is. Tomorrow, Ace and I are gonna be doing an MTV slam. We're gonna be fishing some ponds and Sunday I'll be heading down to the Chickahominy River and then Monday I'm probably going to be doing Lake Anna with Uncle Jack so until then we'll see you guys tomorrow stay warm we'll see you soon